Right. You're missing Captain Eifried. The Captain has done much toward our viability. I promise that I'll share anything I hear about him for no charge. Thanks. All we know is there was a pendulum on the ground at the last place he was seen. And that Legate Melchior is connected to the Captain's disappearance. How? We don't know. Sounds like you've got problems of your own. Do you really have time to take on ours as well? I could ask you why you've tied yourself up with Velvet. Me? I've got a debt to repay. Without her, there's no way I'd have ever found my blade again. A demon repaying a debt? Ridiculous. As ridiculous as a pirate Moloch, you think? Hmm. No matter how you look at it, there's nothing reasonable about our rogue existence. And in this brave new world governed by reason, a rogue can either rage and become a monster like me, or... Or band together with others. Like a ship full of pirates, perhaps. Exactly. I admire Velvet's courage, squaring off against the whole world on her own. Few can accomplish that. It takes strength. Real strength. And I'm curious where it comes from. So you're doing it for yourself after all. Is that so wrong? <sighs> no. I'm the same. I need allies on my side. With the strength and courage to combat this so-called order imposed by the Abbey. But anyone who's willing to put up with the creed folly of Eifried's pirates has to be an even bigger fool than we are. So I'm like you. I want to know how deep her foolishness goes. She'd kill you if she heard that, you know. It's a compliment. Fools that big aren't born every day. Aha. Uh -huh. And I imagine your dear Captain Eifried's much the same. Aye. That man flies his full flag proudly. The Shepherd Artorius, hmm? He's got the populace eating from the palm of his hand. I wonder... Hmm... Just how deeply will the fangs of our would-be tragic heroine scar this broken world of ours? I've got a traitor to find, but in the meantime, this should be a good show.